If you're after a quality saloon, then look no further than the Volkswagen Passat, all right? It may not be the most exciting car on the planet, but once you get past its plain Jane looks, you're actually onto a winner. Prices start at around 15 grand and rise to over 30. But the pick of the bunch is this two litre diesel, and you should be able to pick one of these up for around 20,000 pounds. All right, in the Passat you get competency, but who wants that when you can have the desirability of the BMW? And that's where this car wins, hands down. If you're looking for exclusivity, then look elsewhere, as BMW's 3 Series are as common as muck, but they do scrum up well and have bags of curb appeal. Prices start at around 20 grand, but quickly rise to over 35. This is a 320D and could be yours for around 25K. Well, SJ could be right with that BMW. It's all glamour and desirability. But now the French are playing that game with this, the new Citroen C5. Citroen have really raised their game with this car, and at first glance, it really does appear to live up to the hype. Price again starts at around £15,000, but top out at much more reasonable twenty-five grand. Well, you know the rules by now. We can only test two of these three fine motors. And I'm going to opt for the BMW, because this is the benchmark of all German cars. You know, you are right. That is the benchmark. But remember, this program is all about this, the Citroen C5. Is it really a German competitor? And we should test it directly against the Volkswagen Passat. The reason is, is because these two cars are the same price. Well, that BMW of yours is about five grand more expensive. All right, then, that does sound fair, but I'm taking the German car, I'm taking the Passat. You can stick with this French fancy. Done. Mercedes, Audi, Volkswagen, BMW. I tell you what, the Germans are on a roll. It's not Ford that makes Britain's favourite car anymore. It's BMW with their all-conquering 3 Series. So it's not really surprising that other manufacturers are copying their characteristics to make their models more popular. What is surprising, though, is that Citroen, the most quirky of car manufacturers and that flary French company, are also playing this game with this, the Citroen C5, which is sort of a German-French, French-German crossover. But does it cut the mustard? Or, to coin a Mike Brewer phrase, is it all frog's legs dressed as sauerkraut? Well, it's going to have to do well to beat the Passat because what this car lacks in personality, it more than makes up for with German efficiency. The Passat actually feels pretty good. It's everything you expect when you buy a German car. It's smooth, it's light on the steering, easy to handle. It's not the most exciting ride, I'll give you that, but you know it's going to get you from A to B in one piece. Well, Citroen, let me tell you, you've probably built the best car you've ever built because I think this is better than your C6. The quality inside this car is exceptional. You really have lifted the game. Everything has got a very solid Germanic feel to it, and that's exactly what they are trying to do with this motor. The thing is, you know what you're getting with this car. OK, in comparison to the C5, some might say it looks a little bit boring. But hey, it's honest. It doesn't need all that fancy packaging. The Passat isn't pretending to be something it's not. Well, in the interest of fairness, we've come along to a place where they really know a thing about German cars. A German car specialist in Derbyshire. And I'm fortunate enough to be joined by two guys who know more about German cars than I do because they used to prodding them, poking them, servicing them and selling them. This is Phil, he's a general manager, and this is Julian, he's a service manager. And it's fair to say, guys, you know a mark of German quality when you see one. We do, yes, Mike. Yes, Mike. Well, would you mind, guys, telling me whether this Citroen C5 lives up to its German aspirations? Most certainly. Yep. Have a good look round, then. Right then, guys, first impressions? It looks very impressive, Mike. I've got to be honest. It feels and, and looks like a typical German car, in all honesty. Well, that's what they want to hear, mm. I'm sure. And I'll see you rubbing on the door panel here, Julian. Yeah, it's a nice use of material, some good quality stuff in it. It's very, very impressive, Mike. Very good. Right, let's have a look at some of the lines. Excellent. So down the side, nice and sharp. What do you think? I like it, Mike. Yeah? Yeah. Go on, have a good look. I think it's very impressive. You look at obviously build quality in fact, Mike, and it's on first impressions, it's extremely good. 
do like the rear window. I well, think that that's con a, that concave rear glass. Concave yeah. glass is yeah, they've done that from the C6 and they've carried it across into it. And that to me is very reminiscent of both three and five series BMWs. That little kick up on the boot yeah, lid absolutely. there. Absolutely. Yeah. Big rear lights again, very Similar reminiscent of BMWs, Audis. Yeah. Yep. Very, very true. Much. Yep. Build yeah. quality looks excellent. Solid. Solid. And if you're going to thump a car, you're likely to put a dent in I'll it. I'll put a dent in it. It's good, isn't it? Nice bold lines to it. Nice chrome finishes on it. And this accentuation with these chrome bits looks superb on the car. You know, wing mirrors with indicators in, you know, typically German, but it's just a very, very good looking car. Look at that. It's not like those plastic wings they used no, to put on them, is it? No, it's a lot <laughs> hey. better. Now, the benchmark for this car would be a car like the Volkswagen Passat, yep. yeah. a car that you're used to. Mm, yeah. Would you say that the C5 is better or worse than the Volkswagen Passat in its quality? Look, to be honest, I would never decry the Germans in terms of build quality on cars, but I've got to be honest. I think that's as good. Really? And it's taken me by surprise, that's certainly. <laughs> Let's put it this way, I wouldn't be frightened to take one in part exchange. You wouldn't? No. How about you? Not. What certainly, do you think? Certainly the equal of any German car. Vive la France! Vive la France. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought you'd be saying that here, did you? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. Well done, guys. Thank you very much. A pleasure. No problem at all. So you're trying to tell me that the boys would be happy to have the C5 at the front of their showroom? They were throwing the sauerkraut in the bin and they were eating croissants <laughs> by the time I left. Listen, those guys, they know what makes a good German motor. You need to stop slipping people £20 notes. It was euros, actually, <laughs> and it's 1-0 for all I know.